they know this, uh, you know, they'll flash, hey, wait, yeah, we, we know this, we know that. They'll even have some people question them and say, yeah, we know that. And they'll be lying to their face. <coughs> and they'll cover it up with paperwork. And then the quality is just junk. Or they'll have the quality sent out. And there's a lot of, uh, there might be quality work in China where I've heard they're, they have uh, some places, maybe all of them, I don't know, but the, the people are worried about quality in China, that they have people on the job. Now, whether those people are in uh, cahoots, you know, there's even that where they, they, the people in the States say, well, we want you to go supervise our manufacturing in China to make sure that they stay up to standards of what we want manufactured because we just because we're in China we're getting done cheaper we still want our standards manufactured where it's a say uh, the quality of the steel the quality of the metal uh, is the right contents for everything for our product to stay in standards instead of just using more tin or uh, less nickel or something like that in a product we want this the right percentage of our uh, ingredients going into the product properly and precisely and that's what makes a quality product and then this uh, person was put in charge to say okay we're gonna uh, be there but once they're there not I'm not saying all but once they're there then they get uh, they're in cahoots with the people in China saying well okay we got this quality of because there's a lot there's I can't remember what it was recently where the uh, quality of a product to ship to China was supposed to be a high quality product and the uh, ingredients that went in uh, weren't proper and it's because you know this person if they didn't have a person there quality control and the China just swapped it I can't remember who I what it is that this product was shipped to the US made in China and they just uh, dropped quality product because they heard it was uh, it was a cheaper product or the cheaper ingredients but the ingredients weren't were quality ingredients they were the, the parts of the ingredients were even uh, you know all this different it's like all this stuff in the, uh, you know, they're putting milk. They put all this stuff, like say they have a surplus of milk. Uh, Canada has all the surplus of cheese or whatever it is. And so they need all this milk sold. And so you see all these products that never used to have. I mean, you go and see uh, products that don't need milk, don't need uh, all this, uh, any products in them. They just, they, they got a surplus. And these corporations are trying to find out ways to sell a product because they got a surplus of products. Say it's salt and it's monosodium and, and you know, have monosodiums and everything now because it's a high quality, or not a high quality, be a high quantity of salt. Where instead of having the uh, store a, a, a large amount of uh, just uh, table salt, they get monosodium glutamate and they don't have to store as much. So they don't have to, they don't have to have the storage area so they use malocytum glutamate in lesser amounts, but then the quality control is so fluctuative uh, that, say, there was these there's potato chips out there that if you eat enough, uh, there's I've, I've called up the company. I said, hey, there's no uh, like I was eat, into eating salt and vinegar potato chips from this one company, and uh, I said. Uh, you're, uh, but then they start adding they, a lot of these potato chips. I used to be able to eat potato chips, but then they start adding milk to potato chips that they never had milk in. Because somebody's saying, well, you need to put milk in. You can't taste the milk in a freaking potato chip. You can't taste anything in there. They just got a sales pitch to this company that says, if you put milk in there, you can put nutrient value in there. It has this minimum amount of freaking... I've, they lost my sales because I'm, I'm not eating milk because I'm vegan. But now I'm not eating the potato chip, which doesn't matter. I think I'm going to make my own potato chips out of hot peppers and whatever because they put all the crap ingredients in there that I don't want to eat. They, you can't even, you, you have to look it up in a dictionary or look it up in a, uh, a health club to find out, you know, a 1700 word freaking word, 1700 letter word that describes one ingredient. And you're like, what the heck is that? And you look it up and it's, it comes from this product. And sometimes it's made from horse butt. And sometimes it's made from a, a plant. But they can't differentiate because a manufacturer sometimes buys whatever is cheaper, whether it's horse butt or whether it's plant. So, you know, they, you can't, they can't say, well, it, 
it, you you know they can't say that it's uh, vegan because uh, some most of the time it could be horse butt because horse uh, you know with all the manuf uh, people selling the horses for meat nowadays uh, it could be horse butt or or horse eyeballs or something like that in the product instead of a plant material because the plants you know with uh, somebody growing plants organic and they're selling them well we need fifteen hundred dollars per plant because we're organic. And we're growing it in a uh, greenhouse, and so we want fifteen hundred dollars per plant. And uh, here you go, and so your the price jumps, and so they'd rather sell uh, horse eyeballs in their product, but it, they put a name on it with seventeen letters that nobody knows what it is. So uh, <clears throat> that's a problem with this planet and the human race. You have no standards. You're cheap, and uh, you don't care about quality unless you're buying it. 